fighting for other people. We have to fight to take the future for ourselves and make the country a better place. So that even as you are students today, you could have had a better campus and better scholarships if you had real leaders in Nigeria. So that's why I came and uh, I'm glad uh, the elections are going on today. And another thing to say about elections is that students are the only people in Nigeria that are still holding free and fair elections. You actually do, it's true, I'm, I'm serious about this, uh, you actually do debates between candidates, they don't do it on the outside. So sometimes when they tell me that we don't have experience, I ask them, what is, in, experience in what? Is it in democracy? Internal democracy has been prevalent on Nigerian campuses since the 50s and it has not changed, it has only improved. It's when you get to the outside that there's no democracy on campus. There's internal democracy. That's why they are always afraid of student unions. Because we are the only ones practicing democracy. And they know that if we keep practicing democracy the way we practice it, it will infect their own type of morontocracy <laughs> on the outside that they call democracy. <laughs> so, but uh, we, want to, we want to change the narrative for Nigeria, we want to change the Nigeria landscape, we want to change the practice of governance, we want to change the voting system, and the only way we can do it is not just to go into the voting. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I also just want to invite you guys to, we have a show tonight at uh, Freedom Park. I will appreciate if all of you can come uh, to attend the show. Uh, we want to take our country back in every ramification. I want to take the kid back through culture, entertainment, education, intellectualism, through security, power, infrastructure, economy. We want to restructure Nigeria. I want to give Nigeria real health care, uh, real education, not this one that uh, the one they are doing now is not real education. This is this is just literacy, you know, where you manage to read and write and not equip yourself for the future. Education is not the same thing as graduating to work for somebody. Education is a lot more than that. And like I said, we are the only ones who have got leadership skills. We are the only ones, the only ones leading. In fact, the only time you stop leading is when you leave the campus, when you have to deal with the idiots out there who are managing your country. You can imagine after all your years as a student union leader, all the preparations you've had here, all the experience you've had here, 
you end up with a governor who doesn't know his left from his right. You end up with a senator whose only skill is dancing on the floor of the Senate. And you end up with a president who needs to speak to you. We are not lazy. We are not lazy. And then who turns, yes, and who then turns around to tell you that uh, you are lazy. And you know that in this country, the laziest person in this country today is our president. Is the president. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We are not sleeping. So, we are not sleeping. We are not sleeping. We are not sleeping. We are not sleeping. We are not leave it to you to decide when you want to invite us back here on campus. The campus is our natural constituency. That's why we are not in a hurry to come to the campus. I was a student union leader for six years at the University of Lagos. Uh, I spent six years instead of four years. All these things that they are doing about expulsion, I went through rustication, expulsion, I was put in detention in our days. If you have not been rusticated, you are not a student leader. Yes, it's true. Exactly. If you have not been arrested and detained, you are not a student leader in our time. Yes. So, one day when I was arrested last year, the guy who was assigned to interrogate me, I asked him the question, when was it that you joined the Nigerian police? He joined the Nigerian police after I left Nigeria. You know? So I said, how can you cope with interrogating somebody who used to be a permanent member of a Panty police station? You know? <laughs> At the time, I went to Panty so frequently, I became a president of the cell inside of the place. So I was president outside at the University of Lagos and inside. So we have outside world and inside world, as Fela used to say. So, so whenever you are ready to have us, we'll make a special day to come to Aspo Tech. I'm proud to be here again. This one, this campus used to be one of the major campuses that fought for democracy in Nigeria. This campus was a major, major campus. What we used to do is we'll come from Unilag, you guys will handle Osho, the Apapa Express, we shut it down. We will shut down the Apa, Todd Melan Bridge. Shut down everywhere. But now, we are about to shut down Nigeria with ideas. And the process of this revolutionary defeat of the old order is going to be very quick. It's going to be very fast, it's going to be very laconic and stress-free. It's not going to be bloody because we don't even need to go to that level with these guys. They don't have the capacity to engage us on that. So you get your PVC. Get your PVC. Don't, don't be under, please, 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 don't be under any illusion that PVC is enough. After the PVC, you have to stand with your, you have to stand your ground. So I've been advised that we should take a walk to the gate. So yes, yes.
Next freedom is in your PBC. Uh, Obtain it and make sure that we vote that you stand your ground. And make sure you join our movement, take it back tonight. Tonight, yes. yes. Tonight. Uh, tonight we have a show. 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 We have a you can contact, uh, where is the border? Border uh, yeah. will discuss with you. The political party will be announced at the end of the month. Our platform for now is the Take It Back movement. And we are building it. The moment the party is ready, we all move into that party. And that will be, we'll seal the fate of uh, these lazy guys who have been ruining the country. Thank you so much, Red Last Motion. We hope to be back. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, yes.